Pick one thing. Learn this one thing. What would it be? What's the What's the thing that's going to make a difference? For that I think guy? the word is just fundamentals for me. Well, um, but I I have a, even more, I'll go even more simple than that. All right, go ahead. If it doesn't need fucking with, don't fuck with it. <laughs> that's absolutely right. That's if you turn right. it up and it sounds good, don't don't feel the need to have to EQ it. Don't feel the need to have to compress the bejesus out of it. Don't feel the need to fuck with it. If it sounds good from the word go, because trust me, you just keep digging a deeper hole, the more you affect something that you don't have to. People always seem to feel they got a skin EQ past, you know, plus six. It's like, what? Yeah, Wait a minute, got, something's wrong. Yeah, that's, you should you know, be looking at something. Yeah, something's yeah. wrong. You've either so, got the wrong microphone or that's the right. wrong job. You know? right. So that's, that's what I was saying about fundamentals. For me, if you don't know mic placement, gain structure, and use of high-pass filters, three things. So I, you gave money if you go if right you, there. If you give me those tools, the rest of it's crap. I don't need any of the, uh, of the other stuff. The reason, part of the reason for my success is I got to watch great engineers do proper mic placement. And because that's, if a, you, that's becoming a lost art. It is absolutely a lost art. Because yeah. everything's recorded in the box yeah. now and, you know. But I, I'm telling you, uh, a hi-hat microphone moved a half an inch it makes all the, all the difference in the world than walking out the front of the house and doing drastic EQ on it or trying to compress it to make it work because it's not working in the mix. Go go to the source. Go to the acoustics of the electric transfer. That's where the problem is. You know? So, to me, it's it's all about fundamentals. Fuck all this other crap. You know, it's great that you know how to use the latest whatever. You're a knob turner. I don't care about any of that crap. Do you know about game structure? Do you know that when you turn a mic pre up past a certain point, there's a feeling of it being so hot that it, you know it's just going to feed back or whatever? There's a, there's a feel that happens with mic pre. It's not just about gain and looking at meters and saying, okay, well, I'm, I've metered it up to zero. That's not about gain structure. It's about there's a feeling that happens with mic pre too within your mix. Um, I overgain some things and pull a fader down because the sound of that is better. Uh, or undergain things and push fader. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what you need to learn, in my opinion. The, the fundamental part of that is. Can that even be taught? Yes. Does that have to be learned? I think, okay, so now we get into uh, a, a guitar player. There are great guitar players, and then there are, holy shit, no, that's an there's, amazing guitar player. And then there's me player. that's not even good. What? <laughs> well, what, what makes that guy that's an amazing guitar player? It's not so much that he practiced and learned and played and, and rehearsed, you know. He did as much as the other good guitar player, but the reason that he's amazing is it's just inherent. He was just born with it, and whether that you believe that that's God-given or whatever, I believe there's a lot from my perspective that it's just God-given. I just you know I was lucky it's enough. Failed. Yeah, yeah. It's I was failed. lucky enough. You, you could have to, ten guitars you know, all play the same yeah. note, but there's going to be one of them that plays just that little bit better. So there is even in engineering there is a little bit. You know, when I'm talking to a room of 20 engineers, I can spot it. Like, we'll be talking, and the guy that's asking the question, I'm like, that guy's got it. These other 19 dudes do not have it. And if that guy really learns the fundamentals, and he really learns the technicality part of it, the other 20% of the God-given stuff is gonna take him far. But if you don't have that, I've watched guys that are very technical. They're very good. They're good at what they do, but they don't have it. They don't have that little. A lot of a lot of our secret to success too is being able to walk into a room and not be starstruck with the people that we work with, and be able to communicate with. Let's be honest. Most of the people that we work with are bonkers, crazy musicians that are they're crazy. So. My secret to my success is that I can communicate with crazy people. That's really the deal. I can walk into a dressing room and say to them, 
okay, you know that, you know, part right there, what do you want me to do with that? Do you want that to be loud or this to be softer? And what part are you going to play here? You know, those kind of questions and having that and not being like starstruck. <laughs> You're right? so in a different world to know you. Oh, man. Because I, I don't even talk to him about You don't? <laughs> oh, shit. I, I haven't do talked to him about Sam for 20 years. <laughs> I mean, I, seriously. You know, I do I what like I I'm do. I feel like I'm a producer sometimes. Well I, well, I do what I do, and they do what they do, and the end result is people came. And a lot of people came, and they kept coming. Yeah. So we must have been doing something, something right. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So, 